Hey everyone, James here, and on today's episode of Music Biz 101, we're going to be talking about the homecoming queen herself, Beyonce. Beyonce? 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 Now, I'm sure most of you already know this, but in April, Beyonce partnered with Netflix to exclusively release Homecoming, a documentary slash concert film that's all about her 2018 performance at Coachella, which ultimately was two performances, and this is kind of the story of how they all came together. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a two hour and 17 minute film that is written, directed, and executive produced by Beyonce herself, and it is absolutely stunning. Whether you're a longtime fan or a casual listener, there's something in this film that is absolutely going to blow your mind, all the way from the quality of the performance to the very little details, and that's kind of what we're here to discuss today. Now, I don't like to begin these videos on a down note, but I have to. I have to tell you a hard truth that we both have to accept in order to move forward, and here it is. You and I, we're not Beyonce. We're never gonna be Beyonce. We can learn from her, we can mirror her behavior in some ways, but she is a once in a generation performer that never has and never will be duplicated. And that's perfectly fine because you don't have to be Beyonce to apply things that you can learn by watching Homecoming. And I'm going to save you two hours and 17 minutes by breaking down the lessons of Homecoming into three talking points that I think will help you and I both in our professional careers moving ahead. And this applies to musicians and industry professionals alike. If you wanna work in entertainment, Homecoming has lessons you need to know. Number one, great things take time. Beyonce spent eight months preparing for her performance at Coachella. That's eight months of work, energy, finances, and other resources for what amounted to two hours of stage time. It is a massive undertaking that is unlike anything we've seen at a Coachella festival performance before, or any festival performance for that matter. Anyone that's been to Coachella or been to other major music festivals know many artists come in the midst of their otherwise normal touring routes and they just bring their normal show. What Beyonce did at Coachella was one of a kind because she recognized that it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something so unique that it would set her apart from everyone else, not only in the current world of pop music, but in the entire history of pop music. It was a career and genre defining moment and she made it the best it could possibly be. And how she did that by committing eight months kind of runs counterintuitive to what we're taught about the industry today. Today's business is all go, 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 get it done, get it out, turn it around as fast as possible. And Beyonce knew that she couldn't do that if this performance was to be the best it could possibly be. In order to create Homecoming, in order to create this experience that would live on long past the show itself, maybe even past her career as an artist, she had to give it time to be great. She had to put in the work required to make something fantastic. And all too often, that's the thing that separates great artists from unforgettable artists. They take the time to do something in a way that others just won't. They commit to making it perfect or as close to perfect as we're able to achieve. And that's something that we can all do in our individual pursuits in the entertainment industry. Whether you're trying to be a publicist or a journalist or an artist, you can put in more time than everybody else and make something better. Maybe you don't make as much as them, but you will make something that is simply, undeniably great. And all it takes is time. The second lesson is, no detail is too small. One of my favorite aspects about Homecoming is learning that not only did Beyonce play a huge role in making the documentary itself, but she was involved at every level of the production. She did everything she was required to as a pop star, but she also played a role in hiring the 200 people that joined her on stage, and she even played a role in choosing what lights would be used during the production. Now, I probably don't have to tell you that that's not common for every pop star, or every arena artist. They don't all choose every aspect of the production. They hire people to do that. And you can hire people too if you're able to afford it, and they will make things great for you. If you're a writer, you can hire someone to write your biography. And if you're an artist, you can hire a stage designer, or a production designer, or a lighting guy. But Beyonce, someone that is easily capable of doing all those things, chose to immerse herself in the process and pay attention to every little detail she could in order to make this performance everything that it ultimately became. And this kind of goes back to what we talked about in point one. Great things take time, and great things also require that we pay attention to the details. Even the tiniest things, things that you and I might not have noticed about the performance on a first watch, but may reveal itself to us in future watches, Beyonce had to know and tend to ahead of time. She had to know that when she got on that stage, everything that was going to happen around her for those two hours was as good as it could possibly be, from the lights to the dancers, to the instrumentalists and everything in between. She needed the fan engagement to be great. She needed, 
She needed to put on something that was better than anything she'd ever done before and set the bar for everyone that would play at Coachella in the future. And I'd like to think that she's accomplished that. Just look at Coachella 2019. Ariana Grande did a fantastic job headlining both weekends. But what we learned in the fallout of Homecoming being released is that her performance is being compared to Homecoming already. And in the years to come, that's going to happen to other artists because what Beyonce did, by paying attention to the details and by taking the time to make something that would stand out from everything else, is she set the bar so that everyone else that came would have to follow her lead. And that's what we should all hope to do in our careers, by paying attention to the details, by doing the things that other people might not notice but that we know are going to make a difference, we are setting ourselves apart. And that's what we have to do in order to get ahead. Number three, we have to know our limits. The thing that they don't tell you about the music industry and it's go, 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 get this done right away atmosphere is that at the end of the day, you are responsible for your own well-being. And something that is kind of quietly tragic about Homecoming is that while Beyonce stunned all of us and she gave the world this incredible performance, it came at great cost to her. She had to sacrifice time with family. She had to do things for her diet to get into the shape she needed to be to put on this performance. She poured herself into this performance and gave everything humanly possible, which we all hope to do in our individual pursuits, but what the film only lightly touches on, but is evident throughout, is that it comes with a cost, exhaustion, tiredness. She's not going to take that homecoming performance and do it again and again and again on the road. It was a once in a lifetime thing because if it was anything more than that, it might have been too much. And she recognized that. She knew that if she could just get it together for this one great performance, that that alone would be enough and she was okay with that fact. All too often in this industry, we are taught that we have to be able to go 100 miles per hour 24 seven, sleep when you're dead, stay up all night if that's what it takes. But what we need to learn, what we need to recognize is that we matter too. Your well-being matters. You know how Beyonce is able to be the pop star that she is? It's because that she takes time to rest, recuperate, find inspiration, find motivation. You can't just create these amazing songs and these amazing visuals and these fantastic productions. That takes time and effort that includes taking care of herself as a person. And you need that too. You need to rest. You need to drink more water, sleep more, eat better. All those things that our parents told us growing up, as simple as they sound, make a huge difference in our ability to not only navigate this industry, but succeed at it. And no one's going to do it for you. If you're a band in a van, this is especially true. You're traveling town to town, eating fast food, and living on a per diem that is probably just slightly above the cost of gas to get from city to city. It is very easy to run yourself ragged in the early days of working in the music business, but if you can find a way to keep your head above water and to find a good mental state and good physical well-being, you will outpace your peers in no time at all. So take care of yourself. You're the only one who can. Now that's all the time I have for this week, but before I go, I want to ask you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below. If you want to learn more about the music industry and how to navigate it, you can also visit our blog, haulixdaily.com. That's H-A-U-L-I-X-Daily.com. There's probably an address here at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and follow that link. Go there and you can learn all about what's going on in the industry as well as how to handle it and how to succeed at this business called music. And finally, take care of yourself. Take a couple hours this weekend to watch Homecoming or to read a book or just go outside and remember what trees look like. Whatever you have to do to unwind, find a way to do that as soon as possible. Now, that's all I got. Please enjoy the week ahead. Watch Homecoming if you want. And above all else, take care of yourself. You deserve it.